Welcome back to our PySpark tutorial series. In this video, we are diving into the concepts of Spark RDDs and RDD operations. Let's get started. RDDs, or Resilient Distributed Datasets, are the backbone of data processing in Apache Spark. They provide a distributed, fault-tolerant, and parallelizable data structure that allows us to efficiently process large datasets across a cluster of machines. Let's take a closer look at some key characteristics of RDDs. First, immutable. RDDs are immutable, which means they cannot be modified once created. Instead, transformations on RDDs create new RDDs, allowing us to apply a series of transformations to the data. Second, distributed. RDDs are distributed across multiple machines in a cluster. Spark automatically partitions the data and distributes it across the nodes, enabling parallel processing. Third, resilient. RDDs are designed to be resilient to failures. Spark keeps track of the lineage of transformations applied to an RDD, allowing it to recover lost data and continue computations in case of failures. Fourth, lazily evaluated. RDD transformations are lazily evaluated, meaning they are not executed immediately. Spark optimizes the execution plan and evaluates transformations only when necessary, such as when an action is triggered. Lastly, fault-tolerant operations. RDDs support a wide range of fault-tolerant operations. Transformations like map, filter, and reduce allow us to process and transform the data, while actions like collect, count, and save enable us to retrieve results or write data to external storage. RDDs and Apache Spark support two types of operations, transformations and actions. Let's explore each of them and understand their main characteristics. Transformations are operations that create a new RDD from an existing RDD by applying some computation or manipulation on the data. One key characteristic of transformations is that they are lazy, meaning they do not execute immediately. Instead, they build a lineage graph to track the applied transformations. Some common transformations include map, filter, flat map, reduce by key, sort by, and join. These transformations allow us to perform computations and manipulations on the data within RDDs. Actions, on the other hand, are operations that return a result or perform an action on the RDD, triggering the execution of all preceding transformations. Actions are eagerly evaluated, meaning they compute the result immediately and may involve data movement and computation across the cluster. Examples of actions include collect, count, first, take, save, and for each. These actions provide us with the final results or allow us to write the data to an external storage system. Now, let's dive into the demo. How to create RDDs? The first step in working with RDDs is to create a Spark session. The Spark session serves as the entry point to Spark functionality and provides a way to interact with various Spark features. To create a Spark session, we need to import the Spark session module and initialize a new Spark session object with the builder pattern. Here we give the RDD demo as the app name. With the Spark session set up, we can proceed to create RDDs. RDDs can be created from existing collections or by parallelizing an existing collection. In this example, we created an RDD called RDD by parallelizing a list of numbers. Now, let's see how to retrieve all the elements from an RDD using the collect action. The collect action returns all the elements of the RDD as a list. RDDs can be created from a variety of sources. For example, let's create another RDD from a list of tuples. Each tuple represents a record and consists of a name and an age. After performing the collect action on it, we can see that all the road's elements have been printed out. RDD Operations Actions RDDs support various actions that allow us to perform computations on the data. Let's explore some of these actions in more detail. The count action returns the total number of elements in the RDD. Now, let's get the number of element of the RDD using the count action. The first action returns the first element of the RDD. Now, let's retrieve the first element of the RDD using the first action. Similarly, we can use the take action to retrieve a specified number of elements from the RDD. For example, taking the two elements from the RDD by passing two 
as a parameter to the take action. Lastly, we have the for each action, which allows us to apply a function to each element of the RDD. For instance, we can simply print the value for each element. RDD operations, transformations. RDDs also support transformations, which are operations that create a new RDD from an existing one. Remember that transformations are lazy, meaning they do not execute until an action is called. Let's explore some of these transformations to gain a deeper understanding. For example, we use the map transformation to convert the names in the RDD to uppercase while keeping the ages unchanged. The resulting RDD contains tuples with uppercase names. Next, let's move on to the filter transformation. The filter transformation allows us to filter elements based on a condition. In this example, we filter the RDD to retrieve records where the age is greater than 30. We can also perform aggregations using transformations like reduce by key. The reduce by key transformation groups elements with the same key and applies a function to their values. In this case, we calculate the total age for each name. Lastly, let's sort the RDD using the sort by transformation. The sort by transformation allows us to sort the RDD based on a specified key. In this example, we sort the RDD in descending order of age. Read or write RDDs from or to text file. Spark provides the capability to save RDDs to a text file and read RDDs from a text file. Let's explore how to accomplish these tasks. The save as text file action saves the RDD to a text file. Each element of the RDD is converted to a string and written as a separate line in the text file. We can see the output.txt file has been saved in our project directory. Now, let's create a new RDD by reading the text file we just saved. The text file function allows us to read a text file and create an RDD from its contents. Each line of the text file becomes an element in the RDD. By using the collect action, we can retrieve all the elements of the RDD. That concludes our introduction to Spark RDDs and RDD operations in PySpark. Understanding these concepts is crucial for working with big data processing using Apache Spark. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll explore more advanced topics and techniques. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our PySpark tutorial series. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.